The next day, I go to visit Max Bouvoir, a man considered the voice of the voodoo community. During Wade Davis's stay in Port-au-Prince, Bouvoir served as his guide and mentor. But in the years since, he has become the supreme chief of Haitian voodoo. Uh, Rotary, Rotary. Hello. Comment ça va? How Hamilton. are you? Good. Very How good. You? Glad to see you. Hello, please come on in. Bouvoir started his career as a scientist. I will not be afraid of my dog receiving a degree in biochemistry from the Sorbonne, and went on to investigate the medicinal plants of Haiti, patenting a method to isolate cortisone precursors from agave. Though he once straddled the material world of chemistry and the metaphysics of voodoo, Bouvoir has abandoned his lab in favor of the temple in his own home called Le Peristyle de Mariani. <laughs> the Westerner is an arrogant person by definition. And in his arrogance, he believes he can put his hands on whatever he wants and possess whatever he wants, including soul, including people. And this is why he made slavery. This is why he made so many things. Being a zombie is not something physical that happened to you. It is something spiritual. A zombie is somebody who has misbehaved. In fact, somebody that in any other society they would call a criminal. Most likely, in other societies, this person would, would have been condemned to death. Our society, like every society, has decided that certain crimes are intolerable. Voodoo doesn't believe in killing people. So in fact, this is why even that person considered a criminal is not Killed. We move from him or from her that desire of committing bad deeds. And this is what uh, zombification is. Max Bouvoir's explanation of zombification is unlike any other I've heard thus far. What he describes sounds strikingly similar to the use of antipsychotic drugs in Western medicine. But unlike pharmaceutical antipsychotics, the knowledge of the poison used to perform this sort of chemical lobotomy is controlled by an ancient secret society known as the Bazango. Bazango, in our way, maintains social justice. We maintain police and order in our society. So how would we go about meeting people in these societies if, if a foreigner wanted to go and learn about it? How would they do that? I am the head of the Bizango. Yes. Bouvoir suggests I travel to the mountains to find rural members of the Bizango society who might be intimately acquainted with the secret powder. All the time that I was working, both securing the powders in various locations and trying to understand what the nature of a zombie was and so on and so forth, I kept brushing up against um, what I later came to understand to be the secret societies of Haiti, the Bizongo Champuel, and that Narcisse had actually been brought before a tribunal of one of these societies and, and condemned for any number of transgressions. And in the end, I, I became initiated in these societies, certainly, if not the only, certainly one of the first uh, outsiders ever to become initiated in the Bizago Champuel. Not long after voodoo was recognized by whites, they began to fear its power. Slaves found practicing voodoo were harshly punished or killed. Some slaves escaped their masters and formed colonies in the mountains where they could practice their religious beliefs and live freely. They are known as the Maroons. It was the Maroons who organized the first small-scale slave uprisings, which culminated with the Bois Caiman voodoo ceremony, in which all in attendance who vowed to kill their white masters were anointed with the blood of a slaughtered pig. 
This ceremony sparked the beginning of the 1791 Haitian Revolution led by Toussaint L'Ouverture and established Haiti as the first independent black republic. It was the Maroons who later became the Bazango secret societies. To some, the Bazango are a sort of benevolent spiritual police force, but to many Haitians, they are a feared band of cannibalistic criminals who feast on the unsuspecting during midnight expeditions. It is here that we meet Tomas the Bokor. A Bokor is the Haitian equivalent of a sorcerer or witch doctor, shaman or medicine man, a retailer of potions, a plant doctor, a man in direct contact with deep metaphysical realms. We enter the peristyle to find it's meticulously painted with hundreds of images of white people being stabbed in the neck by Satan or being impaled by Satan while their blood is consumed by tricephalous snakes. There is also a Richard Avedon poster of Natasha Kinsky. On the ground are three large piles of glistening rock salt and an infant's coffin. It is here that we meet Tomas. Tomas is also the mayor of Ennery. Thomas. I'm Hamilton. Hello. You're telling me what to be. Bon, c'est mon issue. On t'achète à mon valet. Mon gamin, mon gamin me lève. Il est passé, mon il est levé, invisiblement. Il dit est-ce que au même qu'on, c'est au même qui prépare pour de là pour faire tourner les zombies. Oui, oui, oui. Pour faire le train. Ça, ça son mon idée. C'est tête pour nous Tête pour nous. Avec le peu pareil, mon ami, pour nous. Est-ce qu'on est capable de dire qui, à qui ça peut pas le faire pour de là Ça arrête à moi-même. C'est le mot de celle là. Qui est capable de préparer Dimanche, ça, on peut faire ça. Il dit, on Sunday, il va faire ça pour nous. Là, il va faire ça pour nous. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Pour combien de dollars Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Il faut que ça pour des petits très chers. Yeah, I said the American doesn't believe in the Haitian. The quack will have a fell quack, but like that, he forgets the discussion. He said that he's capable of it. He's capable of a million dollars, American. If you're satisfied, he's going to get a million dollars. I'm going to tell you, he's going to pay so much, he's going to pay so much money. Il va jamais bouquer pays. Il sait. Il va aller l'autre bois la voie lui. Là, la vérité, il va jamais bouquer pays ici. Il sait. Il will make it for you. Oui, pas de problème. Mais Dieu vous a fait. Il faut que vous satisfait. Oui, il est satisfait. So, il sait. You have to give first. Pour me faire ressentir, ça que dans mes mois, mes tirs dans mes mois, yo. So, he said, tomorrow night at the cemetery, he will make a zombie ceremony, and you will see the zombie getting up. drive back into the mountains to meet Mayor Tomas at our designated midnight rendezvous. We enter the peristyle dedicated to the malevolent Baron 
and Alex walks in backwards to reverse any spells cast upon him by Tomas. He tells me Tomas is untrustworthy, a man without morals. Tomas, now incensed, pulls off his gold embroidered dashiki and puts on a baby blue gown with a scoop neck and two button closure. As the associates of Tomas slowly gather around, Alex begins to back away, telling me that it's no longer safe and we must return to our Mitsubishi Montero. He then calls his friend to arrange a meeting with a different Bokor, deep in the rice fields of Artibonit. Okay, I'll follow. Give it up. Jump. Right. Yeah. She just told me that she talked to the owner. And everything we need, it will make it happen to us. So let's wait and see what will happen tomorrow. At night, I experience a feverish dream of Jean-Claude Van Damme, replete with hypnagogic hallucinations. He approaches me, knife in hand, and whispers in my ear, flicking my earlobe with his tongue, urging me to remember what Wade said about the cultural matrix.